It's a heart transplant that is making headlines around the world. It sure is. A 57-year-old man in Maryland now has a heart from a pig beating inside his chest. Our doctor, Frank McGeorge, is live with more on this first-of-its-kind transplant. Doc. Yeah, guys, you know, around 110,000 Americans are currently waiting for an organ transplant. Sadly, more than 6,000 patients die each year before an organ becomes available. So things like this groundbreaking transplant is really moving us a giant step closer to having another option to save lives. It was do or die for David Bennett. He was suffering from terminal heart disease and had been deemed ineligible to receive a human heart transplant. On Friday, surgeons at the University of Maryland Medical Center replaced Bennett's heart with one from a genetically modified pig. It came after the FDA granted emergency authorization for the transplant on New Year's Eve. While pig heart valves are routinely used in humans, this is the first time a full pig's heart has been transplanted. The pig was genetically modified to remove three genes responsible for rejection and insert six human genes that control immune response. Doctors are proceeding cautiously, but are also optimistic that this will be a new option for patients in the future. A number of the organs can be treated, uh, you know, and used uh, in this way um, from a, an animal. If that's true, we will obviously change the face of what's possible for people who now wait years for a heart transplant. Researchers are also looking at the possibility of transplanting kidneys, the liver, and lungs from pigs. Bennett's prognosis is uncertain, but the new heart is functioning. He's being closely monitored for any signs of rejection. Now before the transplant, David Bennett said he knew the surgery was a shot in the dark, but this was his last choice, and that he actually looked forward to getting out of bed after he recovered. Now, at last word, doctors were planning to slowly wean him off the ECMO machine that was assisting his new heart, and we'll keep you posted on his progress. Now, Frank, I'm curious as to why researchers would choose pigs in particular for this. Well, you know, that's interesting, of course, because primates would seem to make more sense. But pigs, in fact, actually have similar organs to humans, and they're also much easier to raise, and they reach adult human size in just six months. So if this turns out to be something that could be used more widely down the road, pigs are actually much more practical. Fascinating story. All right. Thank you very much, doctor.